It is January 19th, 2024, and this is Disney Daily. 101 Dalmatians, Pongo carries a tune. I don't know what we're going to do, Roger Radcliffe told his wife Anita. We have all these puppies to feed, and I don't have one song to sell. Don't worry, Anita told him. I'm sure you'll be inspired soon. I'm glad you're sure, said Roger, because all I've got is a bunch of used paper. He pointed at the overflowing wastebasket. Don't give up, said Anita. I know that you can do it. After Anita left, Pongo watched his pet pace in front of his piano. Pongo, old boy, I must have written ten songs in ten days. But they're all terrible, Roger said. What am I going to do? That night, Pongo talked to Purdy about Roger's dilemma. They sat in the middle of the living room, surrounded by puppies. Roger has already written ten songs, explained Pongo. He just doesn't think they're good enough to sell. But I know they are. I've heard him play them, and you don't have a songwriter for a pet without developing a good ear for hit songs. Purdy saw what he was thinking. Do you know the way to the music publisher? She asked. Pongo nodded. I've taken Roger for walks there dozens of times. After Roger and Anita had gone to sleep, Pongo padded into the music room and gathered up the sheet music from the wastebasket. Then he sneaked out of the house, carrying the music to the publisher's office. Pongo pushed all the pages under the door then trotted back home. The next day, the phone rang. Roger answered. You what? Roger said. You did? You are? But how did you... Oh, I see. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Anita rushed over. Who is that? My music publisher, said Roger. He's buying ten of my songs. Ten songs, cried Anita. I thought you didn't even have one to sell. Roger scratched his head in confusion. I didn't think I did. So, what happened? asked Anita. Purdy looked at Pongo and barked. Her husband sure could carry a tune all the way across town to Roger's publisher.